Hey, what's up going on, guys? Um, today it is 8:39, and it I'm at Inca Lake, and I was trying to get up a little early today to go out and fish, but I overslept, and uh, I was just checking the bite time. It said it was supposed to be good this time, so without I'm gonna try to hurry up and uh, hurry up and start get out there and go fishing. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? I'm just about to get to the first spot that I'm going to start fishing here. And uh, I'm on the trail going around the lake and I've got my, my uh, Abu Garcia. Uh, I think this is a six foot medium action run. And I got my Fluger President reel on it. But um, anyways, fishing a slim shake worm by Guggen Bates with a nail head 1 8 in the front and then with the wacky uh, ring and a small size 4 hook and uh, hopefully hopefully we can get after him this is the Nico rig that's the name of that rig right there so uh, I'm walking to the spot brought my uh just my gopro today my other cameras in the car and uh let's see if uh if we can do something stay uh stay tuned guys let's go let's do it come on let's do something today peace out guys okay guys i'm walking up on the first spot that i want to fish right here it's a little chilly out this morning but let me just pick this in right here There's a spillway right here that goes down, and uh, I just fished that one little spot for just a second. And uh, still trying to get me one. I think I'm gonna fish from right here on this point and uh, see if I can see anything so far.
Got one. Got one. Okay, sweet. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little uh, large one. Sweet. Nice little large mouth. I just came out here for like an hour maybe and uh, I just tried it out and caught this little large mouth. It's about 12 inches long and uh, he don't weigh about nothing but still I mean it's always fun to get out here and uh, hopefully we can get another one baby. Let's go. I'm stoked. <laughs> oh god. Decent size. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. I got re-rigged up. It was all uh, messed up, and my worm came off last time. So I'm gonna try to get in here. I feel like getting another. I'm excited. You know, people probably walk by and they're like, "Who the heck is this kid talking to?" Nobody, man. It's just me and myself, baby. Alright guys, so I just got done fishing and as you saw, I caught that one fish, well, uh, I'm about to drive home and I'll tell you more about what I caught it on and peace out. Okay, what's going on guys? And uh, earlier you saw that I caught a fish on at Inca Lake, I didn't have much time, I had about an hour left, or an hour to fish the whole thing, and so... Uh, I just woke up early and decided to go out there and try it. And I guess it paid off. Just one fish. I mean, it was fun. Hopefully y'all liked it. Thanks for watching this. Anyways, I caught it on my uh, my setup here. I have a, this is a Boo Garcia. This is a, a seven. This is a seven foot. I thought I said it was a six foot. I don't know what was going on. Sorry about the birds in the back. But this is a seven foot rod. It's a medium action. And uh, I'm fishing a 15, yeah, 15 pound spider wire braid. The diameter of a four pound braid. Or a diameter of a four pound regular line. I'm about to shoot those birds if they don't stop. Anyways. I'm fishing it with a little, uh, I think it's a four little uh, drop shot and hook. And this is the Guggen Slim Shake uh, worm with a 18th ounce nail head in the front of it. Right here. And you just slide that in there like this. Fishing it Nico rig style. So what you do is you put that that nail weight in there. You put a little wacky, uh, little wacky O-ring, O-ring worm, like uh, the O-ring on the worm, about a quarter of the bait right here. Hook that bait. You hook it through onto the worm right through here. I just hooked it a little deep right there, but still. Hook it like that, that way whenever you drop it down in the water, when you drop it down in the water, it stands up on its end right there. And you can twitch it like this, and it'll just look like it's scurrying along the bottom. And that's how I was working it whenever I got that bite. Uh, absolutely just demolished it. But um, this is the Fluger President reel right here. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm not sure if y'all can see that good, but... There it is right there. And, uh, that's my setup for this, for this rod. It's, a uh, like I said, 15-pound test, braided line. 
Um, anyways, that's what I caught them on today is that Slim Shake Dugan Worm. Okay, and my other rod here, I don't have any, uh, I don't have it set up right now with anything, but this is the Lose Mach 2. Uh, this is a, let's see, this is also a seven foot, it's a medium heavy, and, uh, I've had this thing for about, I say I'm a, I got it whenever it was brand new, so I'm guessing like four years, but, um, this thing has all, like, been such a good rod and reel to me. Uh, right now I have the same braid that's on it on my uh, Fluger reel over here and um, I'm about to put 12 pound test fluorocarbon that I picked up yesterday I'm about to put that on it uh, yeah this thing has always been good to me it's always casted great and I, I really just love this uh, medium heavy that I'm working with here it's a 751 gear ratio and that's about all I have for this rod. I'm about to rig it up. But um, anyways, this is what I caught them on today. And uh, I thank y'all so much for watching this video. If uh, you don't mind, just subscribe, leave a like, and follow me on Instagram, HMShook2. And uh, it was just fun going out today. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace out.